Today, we're diving into a fantastic trick for your games, adding that extra detail with parallax windows in Unreal Engine without overloading memory. Let's get started. We kick off in Blender. If you're already a Blender Pro, feel free to jump ahead to the Unreal Engine section. The key here is having your window model with the correct UV mapping for the parallax effect. Also, if you don't feel confident enough within Blender, we have the three assets we are going to make linked below. You can simply download them and import them right into your Unreal Engine project. For those new to UV mapping or if you missed our modular wall tutorial, no worries. We'll cover the essentials now. Begin by creating a cube. Dive into edit mode, adjust the pivot point to one on all axes, X, Y, and Z. Back in object mode, set your dimensions. 0.5 on the X axis and four on the Y and Z axis. This ensures an even modular wall for Unreal Engine. Time for materials. Using Blender Kit or a simple solid color, apply your first material. Here's a quick example of adding a material, but we are opting for the materials in the Blender Kit add-on. Link in the description. For the interior side, tab into edit mode. Select the back face, add new material, name it interior, and make it plain white and assign it. Next, apply the scale with Command A or Control A for Windows users. If you have a texture like ours, select all faces in edit mode, press U, and choose cube projection for UV mapping. If it's not looking quite right, go into the UV editing tab, hover over the squares and press A to select all, then scale with S to adjust the texture size. Now, create a new cube for your window. Adjust its position and size to create your window cutout. We are going to make it a large window. Then select your wall, add a Boolean modifier in the Modifiers tab, and pick your window cube with the eyedropper tool. Hide the cutout cube to see the window. To do this, just have the object selected and hit H. Next, duplicate the cube by pressing Shift plus D. Hide the original cutout cube, then resize the duplicate to form the window frame. To apply the scale, use Command A for Mac or Control A for Windows. Now return to edit mode, select the windows back and front faces, press I to inset and then scale to adjust the frame's thickness. Finally, right click and choose bridge faces to connect them. Next, let's craft the window panes. Still in edit mode, use Command R for Mac or Control R for Windows to add an edge loop. Scroll the mouse wheel to get two and double click to set them. Now, let's assign a new material to the frame. Choose any color you prefer. Switch to edge mode, hold Option for Mac or Alt for Windows and select one of the edge loops, then press F to create a face. Repeat for the opposite edge loop. It's a good time to check normals now. Navigate to Viewport Overlays and enable Face Orientation. If you see blue, your normals are correct. If there's red, select the affected face and press Shift-N to recalculate normals. Now, on to crafting the glass materials. Begin by selecting the frame at the front of your wall, then tab into Edit Mode ensuring faces are selected, and click on the Window panel. Assign a new material to this panel and name it Cube Map. We'll modify this later in Unreal Engine. Repeat the process for the rear part of the window, naming this material Glass. For now, leave these as they are since we'll be finalizing the glass look within Unreal Engine. You will also need to update the UV mapping on the window side that will have the parallax effect by selecting the face in Edit Mode, pressing U, and selecting Cube Map Projection. You can go into the UV Editing tab and adjust the size just like you did earlier. With our wall and window configured, let's apply what we've learned to create an interior wall and a floor quickly. I'll speed through this. Ensure to name them as follows. Brick wall, interior wall, roof ceiling. We now have an exterior wall, interior wall, 
and a combined floor ceiling block ready, it's time to move these into Unreal Engine. We'll utilize a fantastic add-on, link in the description, that simplifies the process. Just drag all the items to the export folder, select Pipeline and hit Export. They'll be directly imported into Unreal Engine and can be updated at any time. Interested in a detailed tutorial on this add-on? Let me know in the comments. Now, we've reached the exciting part, inside Unreal Engine with our three new assets. Start by creating a new folder named Parallax Rooms. Next, create a Blueprint Actor by right-clicking, choosing Blueprint, then Actor, and name it Roommaker BP. Open the Blueprint and hit Add, then search for Static Mesh. Select the Static Mesh option and choose your interior wall mesh from the list. Then, on the left side in your Components panel, duplicate the Static Mesh three times to have a total of four walls. Arrange them to form a cube structure like this. Select one of your walls, then in the Details panel, search for and enable Visible and Scene Capture only to view the interior of the cube. Next, create another static mesh for your floor ceiling. Place this mesh at both the top and bottom of your room structure. Then, return to the component section to add a scene capture component cube. While you're here, also had a point light to illuminate the room and ensure the components are not layered, as this can cause issues with positioning. Position both the light and the scene capture component at the room's center. For this setup, position them at 200 on the x-axis, minus 200 on the y-axis, and 200 on the z-axis. Feel free to adjust the light's placement as needed. With our room assembled, it's time to craft the cube map. But before we do that, we need to head to the scene capture component cube settings. Deselect Capture Every Frame, and then navigate to Texture Target to select Cube Render Target. Choose a save destination within the folder we created. Next, access the cube. Render Target by clicking the Magnify icon. If the room isn't visible, adjust the camera's position and then return it back to the position set. Having established the target, transform it into a texture. Go to where the target is, right-click on the Cube Render Target, opting for Create Static Texture. Next, we'll create a material to apply to our model. Navigate to the Parallax Rooms folder, right-click and choose Material. Name it CT Interior Master. Within this material, right-click to locate Interior Cube Map. Also, select a cube in the Preview Mesh for an enhanced view of the room. Create a Scalar parameter by pressing S. Name it X Tiling. Repeat for Y tiling, and set both to 1. Use an append node to link X to A and Y to B. Then connect this node to the interior cube map's tiling input. For material variation, add a static bool parameter to randomize rotation, ensuring the boolean is checked. Next, import your newly created texture by dragging it from the Content Browser into the Material Editor. Convert it to a parameter named Room Texture. Link the interior cube map's UV to your texture's UV, and then connect this to the base color input. Save your work, and the material setup is complete. Next, open the brick wall mesh and navigate to the cube map material section we made in Blender to assign the CT interior master material. And there you have it, your parallax effect is complete. For the glass effect, select the glass material in your browser and open its settings. Change the blend mode to translucent. Create a quick glass material by pressing 1, clicking to confirm, setting the value to 0.2, and linking this to the opacity input. A straightforward approach to achieving a basic glass look.
To customize rooms with different styles, return to your room maker. Here you can add various items and alter wall colors. Make sure the scene capture component reflects these changes. Then generate a new static texture from the cube texture. Next, in the CT Interior Master Material, create a material instance by right-clicking. Name this instance, then adjust its texture to the newly designed room. Drag your brick wall into the scene and navigate to its material settings. Update the cube map material to the one you've just created, and that's all it takes to achieve a simple parallax effect. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and leave a comment if you need any help. See you in the next tutorial.